Sunday. Um, I do need to mention one product that I have already reviewed because today is going to be about body care lotions, butters, creams, that kind of thing. Um, I have a stash of body care products here in front of me. I will show them to you one by one. Um, I am very much into body care. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I have mentioned that I have extraordinarily dry skin. Not to the point where it's scaly or um, bleeding or cracked or anything like that. It's just itchy. I'm itchy. It could be an allergy to something. It could be the seasons changing. I have no idea. I've been dealing with it since I was a teenager. It is what it is. I deal with it with products. I've tried to change my diet um, because of it, because I've gone through like a, a hundreds of different diet regimens and stuff like that, which has taken me out of gluten, into gluten, out of carb, into carb, vegan, I never really went vegan, but vegetarian, this and that, no dairy, nothing helps with the skin. So the skin is what it is, that's it. So the first thing that I'm going to review for you, I'm going to be comparing it to this. I already reviewed this for you. This is the Zephyr Hand Cream, Layers Zephyr Hand Cream. Uh, the smell, I have been using it now for a, a pretty long time, and I do like to keep this next to my bed, and I like to put it on my feet at night. I'm a big proponent of putting thick cream on your feet at night right before you go to sleep. Um, my the girl who does my nails, she always compliments me on the fact that she has like hardly anything to scrub off of the bottoms of my feet. I do a little bit of scrubbing in the shower with, um, you know, with on my own uh, every day, but I always put this on at night. Anyway, I've already reviewed this. This is fantastic stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. I will be repurchasing that when I need it. I don't need it right now. I'm going to be comparing it to this. This is the hand cream. See the size of this thing? This is a very large portion of body lotion. This is the Luna Layers Body Lotion. This stuff smells fantastic. Okay. White florals, jasmine, sweet pea, and freesia. Juicy berries and sandalwood shimmer like moonlight. It smells really good. It's a very sweet smell. It doesn't stick around very long. It's not a very heavily perfumed body lotion. Um, I like a heavily perfumed body lotion. I don't dislike it when it's not perfumed because I can always put on my own perfume. Um, but I have to be honest, I don't like it as much as I like the hand lotion. This is very thin. It's When I say thin, I mean it pours a little bit. You have to be careful because this is a lot of product. This is so heavy that when you hold it upside down, it kind of like, it. you have to be careful. Like, um, it kind of like drips out. It, you don't have to actually squeeze you don't have to squeeze this at all, okay? Um, when it goes on, it goes right in and it's gone. It doesn't feel as effective as the hand cream does. Um, for somebody who doesn't have dry skin, this is perfect. For me, it's not enough. This would actually be better for me as a hand cream because I don't really like a heavy hand cream that sits on top. In fact, I like it better as a hand cream than the hand cream. I feel like the hand cream is better for me as a foot cream, okay? So this is the Luna Layers hand uh, body lotion. This is body lotion, okay? Um, this one was on sale for $9. I don't know about $9. I think they're $7.50 at Bath & Body Works, but whatever. I'm not reviewing Bath & Body Works. I'm reviewing Scentsy. Another Layers product. Another body product. This is body butter. This is Ace Body Butter. Ace is a... Um, is one of the scents of Scentsy. Fabulous, oh my God. Definitely unexpected tangerine and lavender enrobed in dark chocolate and sweet musky amber. This stuff smells, you wanna eat it. Not like it's cake batter or anything like that because it's got the lavender in it, right? What's interesting about this scent is that it complements the texture of the product beautifully because it almost has a buttery scent to it. It's almost like when you're smelling it, you can taste it. It goes right into your nose and right down to the back of your throat, right over here, and it's absolutely fabulous. I used this this morning. I don't feel like I want to put on perfume afterwards, even though I do because I'm a perfume whore, but whatever. This body butter is so thick. It ain't going anywhere. Literally, you can't even get it to move. It is so amazing. And there's a lot in here and you do not need a lot. Now this is $9.60, costs pretty much the same as the other one. 
This one was $9. This one is $9.60. I would definitely get this over this. Definitely, definitely. It doesn't matter that it's $9.60. It's absolutely worth it. I'm telling you that if I use this every day, in comparison to using this every day, this would probably last me three weeks. This would probably last me maybe a week and a half. Probably this, probably twice um, the amount of application in here because you need so little. Literally, that took care of my thigh. Now, that, I have big thighs, okay? And it's not a lot of product. And that still had a little bit of white as I was massaging it in. And I did the front, the back, the whole thing. And that covered my entire thigh. It's sort of, it gives a little bit of a protective layer on your skin. Um, I did not feel itchy in the slightest. I think that if I use this every single day, maybe even twice a day, that it's going to change the texture of my skin. I really think that. I really think it's gonna help with um, with cellulite. I really do, because I really like massage myself when I'm, <laughs> I really massage myself when I get out of the shower and I put this stuff on, because if you're just slapping that stuff on the surface, it's not like going in. You're, my skin, I don't like dry off, I just sort of pat with a towel, and then I put this on right away. I'm telling you, I'm going to come back in a couple of weeks. I'm going to give you another review. And I really think that there's going to be a difference in the, in the texture of my skin. I, you know that I don't BS you. I don't. Because I'm telling you right now, this I'm not, never mind this again. Okay. Rio Beach and Havana Cabana. SPF 15, SPF 50. 50. Okay. I have to be honest. I have not used this yet. Um... <laughs> It still has the doohickey on there. And by the way, all of these come with the little foil thing on top. I've never had anything bust. So this is still on here. I'm gonna take this off for the first time. Now I have Rio Beach. Ooh. Oh, I'm on vacation. The scent of sun, surf and sand and samba. Coconut milk, tropical fruit and tonka bean. Tatanka. Dances with love, you see that? Oh, it smells really good. Now for this kind of a cream, for it to be SPF 15, I don't really bother with this. Probably if I run out of body lotion, which I probably never will because I have gallons of the stuff being a former massage therapist, I would use this just as body lotion. I keep this in my beach bag for like just in case kind of a thing. You could probably use this as an after sun. It would probably be very good. Um, but this I have used a bunch of times. This when we go to the beach, and it's only been two or three times this year, I do slather my kids with the SPF 50. I slather them like crazy. And I have done it two or three times. Now my kids have not burned from being at the beach. They did burn one day when I didn't have this. So that's my comparison. I did not have this with me when we went to my girlfriend's pool. Hi Jamie, how are you? Um, and they came home and one of them, because one of them is paler than the other, was quite, quite red, but I did not have any of this and I didn't put this on them. But the other two or three days of this summer that I did go to the beach and I put this on them, they did not burn. Havana Cabana smells delicious. My mom was using this and she was like, oh my God, I feel like I can eat it. Luscious medley of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. And it really does smell like that. I'm not sure about the berries, but it's like if you took a pineapple and you took um, bananas and stuck them in a blender, that's what this is. It smells delicious. I will be honest with you about this though. I used this on my face at the beach and I think I got some in my eye and it hurt bad. It didn't just make my eye cloudy like you get Vaseline in your eye or something like that. It hurt. So I don't know if it was this because I did like get it on my eyelids and stuff. I don't know if it was this or maybe I got a piece of sand in my eye. My mom was actually like pouring water into my eye. It was driving me crazy. Um, it was actually painful. So I don't know if it was this stuff, but I'm not gonna blame this stuff because it's not for your face. I really shouldn't have put this on my face. This is for your body. Uh, broad, spe broad Spectrum SPF 50 Lotion. Uh, water resistant, 80 minutes. Now when you're in the ocean and there's that constant um, wave of water washing you, sort of eroding your skin away, and also the kids were rolling around in the sand and stuff, I definitely reapplied this probably three times in a two hour period. Yeah, because it's worth it to me. I don't want to deal with them you know, slathering eczema and stuff like that all over them at night. It's not worth it if you don't have to. These are the products that I reviewed. I definitely recommend the SPF 50 100%. My children have never burned while they were wearing this. I definitely recommend the Layers Body Butter, okay? Definitely, definitely both of these things. I will go broke buying these because I believe in them so much. The SPF 15, whatever. 
If I use it, I will do another review on it, but I really haven't used it yet, I'll be perfectly honest. The hand cream I have turned into foot cream. This is a little bit of a waste of time. All the smells smell fabulous. I have reviewed things on here that the smell wasn't so great, that the odor wasn't so great, or it wasn't strong enough. All of these smell delicious, fabulous. I really like the Ace because it complements the texture of the, um, the um, product itself. I really like the Havana Cabana. Yes. I really like the Havana Cabana because it smells like pineapple and banana. And I really like the Zephyr because it smells like my husband's um, cologne. And I love my husband. All right, my name is Andrea. I'm an, I am a Sensi Essential Consultant. It's very difficult to say. Um, if you have any questions about these products or any of the other Sensi products, give me a, um, a message down below, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye, happy Sensi Sunday. He was six foot four, full of muscle. I said to you, speak my language, brother. He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich.